No, this ain't a Hackintosh. This is a fucking Mac Pro. Crashed. Josh Goodwin is one of today's top mixing engineers. He's worked with artists like Dua Lipa, Justin Bieber, and Bad Bunny. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the reverb, delay, and chorus tricks he uses to create a lot of depth in his mixes. First, let's take a look at his signature spring reverb trick. When Josh wants to add subtle ambience to certain elements in the mix, he'll send them to a spring reverb aux. For his spring reverb, Josh actually uses an outboard unit called the Orban. You can see the insert labeled Orban on the spring reverb aux. Because the Orban units are pretty noisy, he actually uses a gate after it to keep the noise down. After that, Josh has an air filter on the aux. On the air filter, he'll automate the cutoff to create a sort of front to back effect. Quick little ambient trick. I'm the only one doing this trick, so if you see this around, it's because you saw it from me. Send it, I send it to a spring. In this case, you can send it to whatever effects you want. Um, this is how you create space, fine needlework right there. Now let's take a look at him use the spring reverb technique on a few percussion elements. Another plugin Josh uses is the MXR flanger slash doubler. Watch him use this on this percussion element to add some stereo width to it. Another plugin Josh loves to use is Valhalla Vintage Herb. Watch him add Vintage Herb to this guitar loop and then automate the mix knob to create some movement in the mix. Josh also likes to do a ton of reverb and delay throws. He does this by copying one part of the track, say a single word, onto another part of the track and then putting reverb on that. Take a look at how he uses TD5 and Valhalla Delay to do some of these really creative and great sounding throws.
Josh's go-to reverb is the Bacasti M7. Here you can see the Bacasti remote, which is controlling the actual hardware unit. Watch him dial in this reverb and add some delay and additional effects like Devil Lock to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video of me taking a glimpse at some of the effects and reverbs and delays Josh Goodwin uses on his mixes. This is really just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what Josh Goodwin does, and if you guys want me to go more in depth into some of the techniques he uses, leave a comment down below and like the video. Also subscribe, it really helps out the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.